Mina, Code Bonwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here, back with more Psalms. This time is going to be Psalm 8. <coughs> and it's just, just verse 1 reminded me of something quite interesting. Um, o Lord, our Lord, how excellent is your name in all the earth, who have set your glory above the heavens. Now, remember, guys, I'm old. There is actually a song, a praise and worship song, many, many years ago. That was like, Oh Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. And that was a song. That was a thing. And I quite enjoyed it. I thought it was cool back in the day. That was a long, long time ago now that I think about it. And I was just like, almost all. I just I stopped to think about it and I was like, the vast majority of praise and worship songs get um, their inspiration directly from the Psalms. Um, some some praise and worship songs that we sing in church, whether they do, 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 they're better English than that, I can tell you, that much doggone it. Whether they're the old-timey hymns, or whether they're modern, contemporary, Christian praise and worship songs, well over 90% got their inspiration from the Psalms, and a lot. I mean, I don't know if, if it's as much as half, 50%, but a lot are direct rips from the Psalms. And of course, the Bible is a really, really, really old book. There are copyrights on some, like, various editions, but as long as you don't, like, quote a ton of verses, just like, I forget the number, but it's like a few thousand. As long as you don't quote a few ver thousand verses in a row, none of the publishers will ever seek, like, copyright claims or whatever. So they'll sometimes just straight rip sections of scripture and there's their song. They, all they do is put a melody to it, a contemporary melody to it with some contemporary instruments. They don't even bother thinking up their own words. They just take straight words from here and make make their music, which is really cool. Um, at the end of all my 30-minute messages, after I give the altar call, I always try to encourage people to read the Bible, go to church, and pray to the Lord. You want to learn how to pray properly? You want to learn how to do some proper praise and worship. Do you need some inspiration? Uh, would you like to maybe even, you know, maybe you're a music writer or a music compiler and you want to do something for the Lord. Psalms are going to be a great inspiration for you. Um, if you just want to strengthen your prayer life, Psalms are a great inspiration for, to you. If you want to strengthen your praise and worship life, maybe um, take to heart that verse in Ephesians, where he says um, to make melody in your heart always before the Lord. It's not exactly right. That's close to it. Again, Google behind me. Make sure I'm saying that correctly. Psalms is going to be your go-to point. You want to learn how to praise God? You want to learn what is correct and appropriate and pleasing to Him? Go right to His Word, the biggest book in His Word, the book of Psalms. And you'll get all the inspiration you could possibly need for prayer, praise, and worship. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I love you, and God bless.